Hello everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and in today's lesson we're going to talk about real world Spanish. I'm going to do this by introducing you to a verb which you almost never see in more traditional Spanish courses. But you do hear this verb being used by native speakers all the time. I'm also going to be referring a lot to information covered in my free mini course series on YouTube. So make sure you've been through that before attempting this lesson. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The verb I'd like to focus in on is lograr. It just has two syllables. So we have lo followed by grar, lograr. Now, if you were to look up this verb in a verb book, it would indicate that it means to reach or to achieve some type of result. But when you're around native speakers every day like I am, you quickly learn that what they actually are using it for is the equivalent in English of to manage to. So let's look at some examples. In English, we could say, I managed to talk with him yesterday. I managed to do it this morning. Or I managed to fix it in time. This is all representative of very natural sounding English. So to translate that into Spanish, we're going to use the verb lograr. And specifically, we're going to get rid of this AR ending and replace it with an E that has an accent over the top. So the sounds we get is logre, logre. This means I managed. Let's use it. What's the verb to do? Hacer. And how would you say to do it? Hacerlo. Now what we want to do is say, I managed to do it. That would be, logré hacerlo. Here we have logré, meaning I managed, or I managed to, and hacerlo to do it. So, logré hacerlo, I managed to do it. Do you remember the word for yesterday? Ayer. Now, how would you say, I managed to do it yesterday. Logré hacerlo ayer. What's the word for last night? Anoche. Now try to say, I managed to do it last night. Logré hacerlo anoche. What's the word for this morning. Esta mañana. Literally, this morning. Esta mañana. Now say, I managed to do it this morning. Logré hacerlo esta mañana. What's the verb to talk? Hablar. Now, how would you say, I managed to talk with him yesterday. Logré hablar con él ayer. I managed to talk with her last night. Logré hablar con ella anoche. Let's try a longer sentence. What's the word for about. Sobre. And how do you say the problem? El problema. Remember that problem is a masculine word, even though it ends in A. So we have el problema and not la problema. Let's try and put it all together. How would you translate this? Last night, I managed to talk with her about the problem. Just pause and think it out. A 
anoche logré hablar con ella sobre el problema. How do you say we have? Tenemos. And what's the word for that? Que. Now try this. Last night, I managed to talk with her about the problem that we have. Anoche logré hablar con ella sobre el problema que tenemos. To say our neighbor would be nuestro vecino. Nuestro is our. We have nuestro. Nuestro. And then we have vecino. This V takes a strong B sound often in Spanish. So we have vecino. Our neighbor, nuestro vecino. Let's try to use it. How would you say, last night I managed to talk with her about the problem that we have with our neighbor. Again, just pause and think it out step by step. Anoche logré hablar con ella sobre el problema que tenemos con nuestro vecino. What's the verb to fix or to repair in Spanish? Reparar. We have three syllables. Re, pa, rar. Reparar. Now, how would you say to fix it? Repararlo. Here we have the lo for it tagged on to the end of the full verb. So, to fix it, repararlo. Now, how would you say, I managed to fix it? Logré repararlo. If we wanted to move into something like, I finally managed to fix it yesterday, this word finally is finalmente. Finalmente. And it goes up the front of the sentence. So it would be, finally, I managed to fix it yesterday. How would you say that in Spanish? Finalmente logré repararlo ayer. What about, I finally managed to speak with her last night. Finalmente logré hablar con ella anoche. I finally managed to do it. Finalmente logré hacerlo. So far, we've been using I managed to, but we can also say I didn't manage to. And to express that, you simply say no at the front. So it would be, no logré. I didn't manage to. No logré. How would you say, I didn't manage to do it last night? No logré hacerlo anoche. Do you remember the word for our neighbor? Nuestro vecino. How would you say, yesterday, I didn't manage to speak with him about our neighbor. Just think it out. Ayer no logré hablar con él sobre nuestro vecino. How do you say the problem? El problema. If we want to make that plural and say the problems, it goes to los problemas. 
Again, you can see that the word ending in A, but it's a masculine word. So we have los problemas. This is the problems. Now try this one. Yesterday, I didn't manage to speak with him about our neighbor and the problems that we have. Ayer no logré hablar con él sobre nuestro vecino y los problemas que tenemos. Let's work with some more verbs. What's the verb to see? Ver. And how would you say to see him? Verlo. This could also mean to see it, because the law can mean him or it. Verlo. Once again, how do you say this morning? Esta mañana. Now, try this. I managed to see him this morning. Logré verlo esta mañana. How would you say to see her? Verla. The la represents her. Verla. Now say, I didn't manage to see her this morning. No logré verla esta mañana. Let's move into a longer sentence now. How do you say, I'm going to? Voy a. And what's the verb we use for to try? Intentar. Intentar. What's the word for again? Otra vez. Literally another time. Otra vez. Finally, the word so. We have two choices here. We can use así que or entonces. In this example, we'll stick with así que for so. Let's run through the vocabulary once more before the sentence. How do you say I'm going to? Voy a. To try. Intentar. Again. Otra vez. And the word so. Así que. Now try this. I didn't manage to see her this morning, so I'm going to try again tomorrow. I've put it in brackets because in English, you could leave it in or put it out. But in Spanish, you must put it in. So pause now and try to translate this into Spanish. No logré verla esta mañana. Así que voy a intentarlo otra vez mañana. What's the verb to call? Llamar. And the pronoun meaning to him or to her. What is that in Spanish? Le. So if we wanted to say to call her, it would be llamarle. Literally, to call to her. Llamarle. What's the word for tonight? Esta noche. Now let's put it all together. I didn't manage to see her this morning, so I'm going to call her tonight. No logré verla esta mañana, así que voy a llamarle esta noche. What's the verb to find? Encontrar. This verb can also be used for to meet. So, to find or to meet, encontrar. 
how would you say to find it? Encontrarlo. Just as before, the it, lo, gets hooked onto the end of the full verb. So, to find it, encontrarlo. How would you say, I managed to find it? Logré encontrarlo. I didn't manage to find it. No logré encontrarlo. The word for a solution is very close in Spanish and English. It would be una solución. Una solución. How would you say, I managed to find a solution? Logré encontrar una solución. I didn't manage to find a solution. No logré encontrar una solución. The word unfortunately is very long in Spanish. It has around eight syllables. Here it is. Desafortunadamente. So we have de sa for tu nada mente. It's quite a mouthful. Desafortunadamente. If you'd like to pause and practice that a few times, do that now. Desafortunadamente. How would you say, unfortunately, I didn't manage to find a solution? Desafortunadamente, no logré encontrar una solución. What's the verb to visit? Visitar. Visitar. And the word for my aunt would be mi tía. Mi tía. To express to visit my aunt, it would be Visitar a mi tía. Here we have the personal a. So, visitar a mi tía would be to visit my aunt. How would you say, yesterday I managed to visit my aunt? Ayer logré visitar a mi tía. If you wanted to say, my uncle... Then instead of mi tía, it would go to mi tío. You have the o, the masculine o. So, mi tío is my uncle. Now say, yesterday I managed to visit my uncle. Ayer logré visitar a mi tío. What's the verb to arrive? Llegar. And to express on time, in Spanish would be a tiempo. A tiempo. How would you say, I managed to arrive on time? Logré llegar a tiempo. What's the word for this morning? Esta mañana. Now try this. I managed to arrive on time this morning. Logré llegar a tiempo esta mañana. I didn't manage to arrive on time this morning. No logré llegar a tiempo esta mañana. What about, unfortunately, I didn't manage to arrive on time? Desafortunadamente, no logré llegar a tiempo. To say the appointment would be la cita. This is a dentist appointment or some kind of appointment like that. 
la cita. And to express for my appointment would be para mi cita. Para mi cita. How would you say, I managed to arrive on time for my appointment this morning? Logré llegar a tiempo para mi cita esta mañana. What's the verb to explain in Spanish? Explicar. And how do you say what happened? ¿Qué pasó? Now try, I managed to explain what happened. Logré explicar qué pasó. How would you say this? And now everything's fine. Y ahora todo está bien. Let's put it together. I managed to explain what happened and now everything's fine. Logré explicar qué pasó. Y ahora todo está bien. To say ruined or in ruin, the word in Spanish is arruinado. If you can, try to roll your R here where you see the double R's in order to get a pronunciation similar to a native speaker. So we have arruinado. The syllables are a ru i Nado, arruinado. To say everything's ruined would be Todo está arruinado. Todo está arruinado. Try this one. I didn't manage to explain what happened and now everything's ruined. No logré Explicar qué pasó. Y ahora todo está arruinado. Let's run through a drill to see if you've got the hang of it now. How would you say, I managed to do it last night? Logré hacerlo anoche. I didn't manage to see her yesterday. No logré verla ayer. I managed to explain everything. Logré explicar todo. I managed to visit my aunt. Logré visitar a mi tía. I didn't manage to find it. No logré encontrarlo. I managed to arrive on time this morning. Logré llegar a tiempo esta mañana. I managed to speak with her today. Logré hablar con ella hoy. I didn't manage to call him last night. No logré llamarle anoche. There's something very powerful about the word logré, meaning I managed to. Look at these examples in English. We have, I managed to talk with him. I got to talk with him. I was able to talk with him. I could talk with him. In every example, we're achieving some kind of a result. Whether it was, I got to, I was able to, I could, or I managed to. The interesting thing is that much of this is the same in Spanish. We're using the verb lograr to achieve a result. And in the past, that word is logré.
meaning I managed to. You can see just how universal that little word is. It's something that you can plug into your Spanish and start using right away. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube, and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.